Hello everybody, Colesaurus Dick and Sonai here. Uh, this is a kind of impromptu video, but it's something I've been thinking about over the past few days. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about my hair. I just got out of the shower. That's right. I'm a, I'm a gamer and I shower. Well, we are going to be going and looking at all of my specimens. Wow, they're mostly biological specimens. Um, obviously. Here's my dart frogs. They're doing just fine. I haven't seen Kalalik in a while, but when I see him, he's usually nice, fat, and happy, and Quiabble's everywhere. In fact, let's go visit Quiabble. Quiabble is behind that leaf, just vibing. Absolute chad he is. Yeah, very nice. All right, now that that's out of the way, also, I don't think I've shown these off before, but you look, I have them for all my tanks. They're Terrarium labels, or vivarium labels, Rex, this is right there. The only one who doesn't have that is Inadu the snake, who is currently right there. But, um, yeah, he doesn't need one, because they didn't have his species, but that's totally besides the point. We're not even, like, doing that. All right, so, without further ado, let's go look at my bio, bio, let's go look at my biological specimens. Is this boa pelt? Look at that. Um, I actually got it at a garage sale. There were two of them. The dude said they were rattlesnake skins. It's obviously not a rattlesnake. Um, it's usually nailed up right there, but it fell down today while I was doing schoolwork. So we are literally just going to hang it down and continue the video. Looking over all my stuff, these are my two shelves of just all my biological specimens. Very nice. Let's do that again. Whoa. So let's go over them like individually. Here we have my um, my pencil cactus. Cow King Harper hates it, I love it. Um, here's just some rocks. That is an apple snail shell. And this is a fossilized clam. It's really cool. I think it's from the Western Interior Seaway. I think this is from Kansas. I'll have to check and make sure that it is, but yeah, it's a really cool shell or clam. Next is this, this little guy. It's a, one of my wet specimens. I'm gonna make a video about how to make one of these. But this is a baby black racer. He died. The, it's dead, by the way. I feel like I should mention that. Um, it's a black racer, which is a type of snake. It's a colubrid. Um, and he's kind of coiled up. I'm sorry if this is like, I'm probably gonna put a disclaimer, but yeah, I feel like it's, perfectly fine because you know I use it for educational stuff and my other wet specimen at the moment again I'm gonna have a third one in a little bit is a dart frog the poison dart frog and I w bet that you guys know where this dart frog is from and if you do well then you've been watching my videos for almost a year now but yeah this is the male or sorry the other dart frog that I rescued with Quiotl, and unfortunately this guy did not make it. He was just too far gone, and he looks extra sad and sickly in here. That's just kind of the alcohol, the preservation agent doing its work now. All right, next thing, we got some more fossils back here. I need to organize this again. This is a horse tooth from Grand Old Florida. We have a lot of uh, Pleistocene fossils here. And here's my feathers, all of my wondrous feathers. This is from a bird called an anhinga, which are one of the only birds that don't actually have oil that goes on their feathers. So this is not waterproof. Unlike a lot of these other ones, we just got lots of stuff. Um, that down there is a rainbow lorikeet feather. That is something, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot of them. I think that's a mockingbird. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really cool feathers. I love birds because they're essentially dinosaurs. Um, the next one right here is a uh, an eastern box turtle shell. When I My friend told me he found a box turtle and I was like, oh crap, that's awesome because I love box turtles. We went and it was just the shell. I separated it from the plastron so I could clean it better and you can see their spine is attached to the roof of their shell and each like little spoke you can see is their ribs so they can't climb out of their shells like in the cartoons 
But these guys can do something even cooler, which is to close up their shell. It's super cool. I need to spray <laughs> I'm gonna do that after. Um, but yeah, that's a box turtle shell. The next is one of these little dudes called a mermaid's purse. What really it is, is a skate or a shark egg case. So this is what the baby shark or skate, which is a lot like a steamer I hatch out of. So it's super cool. They wash up. Unfortunately, this one died. The baby never hatched out of it. It's dried up and in there. In fact, it's probably like disintegrated by now, but yeah. Next thing is a bunch of Leonard's skin. Leonard's beautiful, glorious skin. This is almost a full shed, which if you know geckos, geckos are supposed to eat their skin when they shed it. But he is a really weird lizard and he rarely ever eats his skin. It's probably terrible for him. And in fact, I have a whole jars full of Leonard's skin. If you want this skin, tell me and I will give it to you. Probably, probably not, but do it anyway. That'd be funny. These are all, I have a lot of shark teeth. I used to collect them when I was a little kid a lot, but these are all from the same species, the sand tiger shark. I have so many of these. It's not even funny, but yeah, um, it actually is pretty cool that I have just so many of one species. Um, focus. All right. These are all of lemon sharks. Speaking of sharks, here's one of my very few actually great white teeth. There's one, those two circles are where barnacles were attached to it. So this has been falling off for a long time. In fact, it's fossilized and look at that recurve. This was an upper jaw tooth. Um, here, this is a little barb from an Onchopristus, which if you know, Onchopristus was a prehistoric sawfish. This is from, this is from Morocco. I have a lot of Moroccan fossils, which they're easy to get, but there are a lot, there's a lot of fake ones, so be careful. This is from my feather thing, it just fell out. This is a, um, a night heron feather, but let's just put that back where it's supposed to go. That's a megalodon tooth. You've seen it on my streams if you watch my streams, and if you haven't, then meet my megalodon tooth. Uh, let me show you how big it is compared to my hand. Boom. Megalodon tooth. This was also an upper tooth. Has a really funny story, but you're going to have to wait till a stream for me to tell that. This is also a megalodon tooth, but this is not a real one. This is a cast of the largest megalodon tooth ever found. And it's pretty, pretty stinking big, if I do say so. This, The one that's uh, like molded of was found in North Carolina but it's huge there's some really big ones out there I'm gonna put it down here this is an opossum jawbone which is cool because it's like one of the only marsupials in North America the only marsupial native to North America this is a prehistoric alligator tooth I love its little floating display display thing This is a crocodile. I think it's Elisuchus, I want to say. I could be wrong there, though. But this is a crocodile from, you guessed it, Morocco. And I think it's cool to actually see the difference between the two. This right here is called a tooth of an Odidus abwilicus, which is actually one of the ancestors of Megalodon. And then right back here, speaking of sharks, again, I have a lot of shark teeth. This is a shark jawbone and before you get angry at me in the comments let me say that this one was actually donated to me by a marine biologist who collected this like humanely so don't get angry at me and don't buy them don't don't buy them um there's a lot of stuff that you shouldn't buy that i have like reptiles from peck um but yeah Seriously, on a serious note, uh, if you buy shark teeth, it's a very messy deal. Make sure to get fossilized ones because sometimes they like rip them out of the sharks and it's not good and they'll cut the jaws out. And I don't support finning, don't support killing of sharks in any way. I think it's stupid. 
You shouldn't eat sharks. They're high in mercury anyway. It's bad for you. It's bad for the environment. And of course, it's bad for the sharks themselves. Don't eat sharks. Tangent over. This is the one... Um, the one a sand tiger shark tooth that I actually like. And that's because I found it on a beach. Uh, I've gone fossil hunting a little couple times. This was one of the times that I was not going fossil hunting. I was on a vacation with my family and I walked out. There said, it's actually the same place where I bought the um, one of the great white teeth. But there's like, there's supposed to be shark teeth everywhere. And, but people said they're so hard to find because people over collect them and whatnot. I walked out within five minutes. I picked this up and I was like, hey, I found one. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really small. It's really delicate and cute looking. I just, this is the one sand tiger shark tooth that I'm attached to. Moving onward, swiftly onwards. These are two of my anima, am, animites. These are two of my ammonites. These two are called, I think, Kelisaris, I want to say. And they are both from um, Madagascar. When it was kind of a, an ocean at some point. But these are actually iridescent red. So they're so pretty. I love them. I love ammonites. Um, I don't have as many as I did anymore. But um, I don't really know what happened to them. But yeah. These are two of my favorite. I love this genus, especially, and how they preserve. It's super interesting. And speaking of ammonites, this was my first one that I ever got. And it's just one of those, like, polished ones, which aren't that cool. Looking back, these ones are so much cooler than these from Madagascar. These are all stingray barbs and stingray mouth plates. Th that right there, that's a stingray mouth plate. That is a stingray barb. I think that's super cool, but also mildly terrifying because it like reminds me, gives me PTSD flashbacks of of everyone's favorite Steve Irwin. Uh, God rest his soul. Seriously, Steve Irwin's awesome. Um, and it's Steve. Remember Steve from one of my videos? I'm sorry. I'm, this is like it's almost ten o'clock at night, which isn't that late, but um, it's kind of when I start to get loopy. So this isn't a very professional video, but it's still gonna go up. Um, but yeah, this is one of the things that I take to all my educational um, outreach programs because kids freaking love Steve. <laughs> but um, he's the, this is what I, is analogous to Steve. This is the vertebra, a cross section of a vertebra from a Stenopter Gerus, which Steve is. And yeah, so I'm like, hey, look at that. That's a cool bone. That's what it came from. And the kids are like, yay, can we go out and play now? And I'm like, no, you're going to listen to me talk about lizards and dinosaurs. But yeah, so I actually have these two shelves and I have one more, which we are going to go see now. Sleep. Look at that fat, lazy. Oh, I woke her, woke her up. Yeah, she is fat and lazy, though. Nobody loves her. This is actually on top of my dinosaur figure shelf. You can see right here. I'm kind of like remodeling. But yeah, moving on. You can see there's my beautiful beast of the Mesozoic. Um, Sornithalestes. I love it so much. Um, and I'm planning on getting more of the beast of the Mesozoics at some point. They're really expensive, so I can't right now. But right here by his feet are two Mosasaur teeth. These are tiny little Mosasaur teeth. Look at that. Um... Over here, I usually have this propped up, but it fell for the time being. This is a um, a cast of a Deinonychus claw, which I think is pretty cool because I can do the whole scene from Jurassic Park and not have to worry about breaking it because it's not a real fossil. See? If it was a real fossil, would I do this? I think not. Right up here are two Spinosaurus teeth, Spinosaurus maracanus. Um, I'm not going to get them down because it takes a long time to prop them up like that, but there they are. They're also my streams. This is a Phacops, which is a, this is a Phacops, which is a type of trilobite, which I'm pretty sure you all know what a trilobite is, but if you don't, it's a sea bug, sea bug -o. 
they have those weird little eyes, which you can see right there. They're super cool. I love them. They're also from Morocco. Um, this is just a bunch of Moroccan fossils, <laughs> including that big shark teeth right there. That is a Squalacorax tooth, which is a species of shark. They're called crow sharks because they're a scavenger. We know that. Um, and they're super plentiful. And we find dinosaur bones with scrapes in them from these guys, which is super cool. And they lived in the Western Interior Seaway. This right here is actually the first ever thing I bought at a reptile show, at a reptile expo. Um, but yeah, this is actually a species of fish. I forget. I think it's Nydia, Nydia eocena. But I could be wrong. But yeah, it's a beautiful preserved specimen from Washington, I want to say. No, Wyoming, I'm sorry. They're all from one lake in Wyoming, and it's super, super cool. And they're like, there's hundreds of thousands of probably millions of fish. But yeah. Um, and that brings us to the end of all of my fossils and biological specimens, but mostly fossils. So if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to leave a like, um, comment what your favorite fossil that I, or biological specimen, because they're not all fossils, that I have is. Um, also subscribe while you're down there, hit the bell icon to be notified every time I upload. Uh, leave future video suggestions. I'm kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> um, uh, join the Discord, I guess. Follow me on Instagram. Do all that fun stuff. And without further ado, Cole Sorstig and Sonai, signing out. Hello, everybody. Cole Sorstig and... That's awful. I stepped on something really sharp. Owie. Owie. All right. So before... What do you mean before?